Coverage continues now with 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini. She is live at Little Caesars Arena in downtown Detroit. There is a big Paul McCartney concert tonight with the tragedy in Vegas weighing on everybody's mind. I'm sure a lot of people are quite nervous there, Brianne. Well, Carolyn and Dave, the concert just ending, folks leaving Little Caesars Arena tonight. Lots of people out here very excited for this concert for a legend like Paul McCartney. But the news of the Las Vegas massacre did put a damper on that for many. And there are a lot of mixed emotions out here. The scene of the Las Vegas massacre, a musical performance. Thousands of people gathered to watch some of their favorite musicians when the night was shattered by terror and murder. Tonight, thousands are gathered in downtown Detroit to see a legendary performer, and many said the Vegas massacre has been on their minds. Just like everybody else, I, I don't understand why something like this happened. Uh, what would uh, just propel somebody to do something like that? Steve Christie said he even considered staying home. I thought about not coming, but but I want to I want to see Paul McCartney. I've never seen him before. And others simply don't want to dwell on it. Trying to not to think about it. There's, you know, there's so many negative things happening. We can let them stop us or we can still go out and enjoy ourselves. But others who spoke with 7 Action News said they never wanted to let the tragedy change their plans. I like to travel and I like to go see things, so it, it, it's not going to stop me. It's a terrible thing and it, that happened, but um, you can't not go anywhere. You just can't just stay home all the time. The show inside overshadowing the horror of the attack in Vegas, but not forgotten. My heart goes out to people who were part of that tragedy today. No word yet if there were a larger than normal number of unused tickets, but of course security was tight here. We did see a lot of police officers patrolling the area. For now, live in downtown Detroit, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Brianne, thanks. People